Hello, this is Films About Paintings, Art 160, Special Topics, St. Xavier University. In this course, you'll watch three films per week in the comfort of your home and discuss them online. In order for this to work, we need to have a couple of things set up. First things first, let me introduce myself. My name is Nathan Peck. I'm an associate professor at St. Xavier University, and uh, I'm a video artist and a painter. If you go to www.rooktv.com, you'll get a chance to see a little bit more about my background, where I'm coming from. Take a look at this video right here. It's a video created by my friend Nat Sodi about me uh, in preparation for my tenure. Um, a little bit further down on the page, you'll get to see something in this section called uh, Torn from Britannica. You'll get to see a whole bunch of my paintings. You'll also be able to see some of my other videos on this site if you look around enough. But before uh, we go any further, it's going to be necessary for us to set up a few things so that we're all operating in a consistent way. This is an online art course, and we all need to have the same tools available to us. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to suggest that we all do exactly the same thing. And I will do it right now to show you how simple it is to do. Um, I need us all to create a course-specific Gmail account. That is a Gmail account that you don't need to worry about anybody else finding because nobody will know this address except for the members of this class. This will allow us to all communicate back and forth and it'll make sure that you can keep your normal world separate from this particular course. If you already have a Gmail account, that's great. I need you to set up a specific one for this course. Um, the example that I'm going to suggest that you use, and I'm going to ask that you do exactly the same thing, is to uh, um, set one up that has your first and last name dot FAP for films about paintings at gmail.com. Nathan Peck dot FAP at gmail.com will be mine. You will set up something different. If your name is John Doe, set up John Doe dot FAP at gmail.com. This will give us all a course specific blogger account, course specific YouTube account, and course specific Google Plus account, all of which we will be using at different points this semester. Let me show you how simple it will be to, to accomplish this. I'm going to do it right here in this video, and my hope is to be able to accomplish all of this inside of this first little 10-minute uh, video. Um, first thing I want to do is to go over to uh, Gmail. Um, I'm going to just type in uh, www.gmail.com and I don't want to sign in. I want to create a new account. If you're already signed in, you might have to uh, close that um, and uh, uh, sign uh, to create a new account. I'm going to create a new account and in this page I just need to uh, fill in a few forms and uh, we'll be on our way. Um, I'm going to fill this in as truthfully as possible just for the sake of uh, um, this particular situation. Um, again, the uh, the uh, name that I want you to use is your first and last name. Don't use mine. Uh, this one will already be taken. Um, again, I have no reason to believe that anybody will already have this name taken. Again, you can only use letters and numbers and periods, so that's why we're just going to use our first and last name together, dot F-A-P for films about painting. Um, I'll put in a password here. and uh, put in my birthday. Again, my birthday is actually going to be coming up during this class, so feel free to uh, um, send me your warm regards on July 3rd, 19, well, 2012, I suppose. Um, I really don't care what gender you are or if you even choose to uh, uh, reference that. This, of course, is one of the uh, um, uh, things that you'll need to do, which is to put in some uh, um, email address so that it can verify that you're already an existing uh, digital person. Um, I'll put in, uh, and of course you have to spell it correctly, okay. Of course this is one of the trickiest parts here. Um, this also is proving that you're a human. and that you're not a machine just setting up rogue accounts all over the place. All right, And uh, you must agree to the Google uh, Terms of Services, and of course, I don't recommend having them send you a bunch of stupid emails. Now, as far as this is concerned, I'm going to ask that you do go ahead and set up a profile for this specific thing. 
now that I think about it, I'm not entirely sure that I have an image uh, to, <laughs> to put here, but uh, um, I will get back to this um, within a few uh, step, within a few moments. Um, do take a moment to put an image in um, of yourself. That will allow me to see you. If you want to put in an image that represents you, uh, that's totally fine. Um, maybe I'll just add a quick profile photo from uh, um, my web camera here. Uh, maybe not from my web camera. Let me just upload a photo. I will go and set something up here. Films about paintings and... There we go. If nothing else, I'll just put up an image that uh, represents us for this class. Again, this should be relatively simple. If you have a webcam, you should be able to take that. Chances are you've already got an image somewhere on um, the screen that uh, you can use for this, uh, for this purpose. Um, there we go. Um, let's see. Uh, that should be sufficient. And of course, I might change that up later on. Uh, let's move on to the uh, next step. Now that I've created this account, I'm going to continue on to Gmail. And as you can see up above here in a moment, I already have three emails from the team. All right. Uh, what I want to do is I want to just jump right over to YouTube right away, right up at the top. And this will make sure that we set up our Gmail or our, uh, our YouTube account properly right away. I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, sign in. I'm going to sign in with the exact same email address and the exact same password. Again, if you're already signed in with another YouTube account, close that temporarily and open this one. I will not know your password, so you can't call me for help, and I won't know your, uh, um, your account until you uh, send me something. But we'll take care of that in just a second. So now I've already set up my YouTube. Um, and now let's go back uh, one step and let's go ahead. I'm going to close this window. That's set up. We'll get back to that later. Um, let's also go ahead and set up our blogger. I'm going to go under more here and I'm going to go down to blogger. Again, I'm just going to type in FAP. -F -A oh, <laughs> I'm just giving you my password. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll probably end up changing that before too long. <laughs> And uh, here we go. Again, I've already got my, uh, um, my blogger set up and my YouTube set up and my Gmail set up. The final thing that I'm going to do here is uh, um, I'm just going to see if I can just go ahead and set up my uh, um, first blog, first blog, first blog post. I'm going to go down to continue to blogger here. Right now we're at the eight minute mark, so I'm going to try to take care of this pretty quickly here. Um, what I want to do here is to uh, go in and uh, create uh, my first blog. I'm going to go up and click on the new blog. One thing that's important to understand is that you want one blog and many posts. Okay. So what I want to do is go into a new blog. I want us all to be very careful about the title and the address that we use. And I'd like us to all be very consistent with this. Um, again, what I want you to start with is your first and last name. and add films about paintings. That's plural, films about paintings. Now for the address, you have to be slightly more specific. In this case, um, again, what I want you to do is start with your name. And I'm just going to put in Okay, Nathan Peck dash films about paintings dot blogspot dot com is my actual address for this. I'm going to just choose the simplest one, the very first one here, and hit create blog. I can change the style at any time later. All right, now my first, now my blog is set up. What I need to do is do my very first post. I'm going to go ahead and click on create new post. And I am going to uh, just type in my first and last name. Now, what I want to do here is uh, um, uh, introduce yourself to me academically. 
Um, I'm just going to put my uh, uh, title. I'd like you to put your major. And give me any other pertinent information, like perhaps why you chose this, uh, uh, this course. Um, I'd also like you to include one image. And I'm going to just insert the same image that I did before, and that would be fine for you as well. Um, all right. Uh, I'm just going to choose a small image here and choose that image. Again, it'll only take a second. Now, it, they will have to be either JPEG images, GIF images, or PNG images. Now, most images that you have, if you have a picture up on Facebook or if you've got a picture somewhere else, it should be straightforward. I might add more information about that later. I'm going to go ahead and hit Add Selected. Um, it noticed that it sort of put it right in the middle of the, uh, the block. I can control where this goes uh, to a certain degree, um, but uh, for now this will be uh, sufficient. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Publish. And now this uh, first blog post is published. And you can see a couple of interesting things in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, um, uh, don't necessarily need this yet. Um, I just went ahead and hit share on that. Now at this point to uh, view this post um, and what I want to do to be able to see this particular post is uh, uh, click on the view button that's right down below here. Now I'm looking at my blog on, a, on the web, right? This is exactly what it looks like. I'll go through and I'll do a whole other blog post about trying to edit this and making it even prettier. But at this point, we've got some of the key components here. What I need you to do is to send this to me. I'm going to highlight this, uh, um, this entire address up here at the top. And I'm going to copy it. Close this one, close this one. And now in my Gmail account, I'm going to compose a new email. Um, first of things first, I want to uh, make sure that you send it to me. Again, nathanpeck.fap.gmail.com. And uh, uh, I want to type the uh, 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 word welcome in here for now. And I'm going to paste the address down into there. Again, uh, the easiest way to do that is to go up to edit and, oops, edit and paste. The final thing that I want you to do is to actually make this clickable, make it a link. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this type and I'm going to click on the link button. And now this is editable. Uh, excuse me, now this is clickable. I'm going to hit send. Oh, I need something in the... Uh... Oops, <laughs> I forgot the at sign. There we go. Now I've sent it. Now, as you can see, I've already received it. I'm going to click on here, and I know that it's good because if I click on this button, now it takes me to the same blog post. And there we are. So now I see you. As soon as I see you, you're in the class. Until I see you, you're still sort of a, a, a technically on the waiting list. All right. So please get this taken care of and send it to me as soon as possible, and I will send you the next instructions from there. Thank you very much.